Hello everyone and welcome back to the farm. I'm just working on my International 1486 here. And I think it's about time for this thing to be running. But first, a few updates from my end. We now have a semi-trailer that I've already loaded with bales. And... I got a new house. I sold the previous one, like deconstructed it and sold the building materials. And got some more and had help building this one. And I made it in the exact style as the original house that was on this property. I figured it'd be nice as a throwback. Same layout and everything. And in the end, with the selling of the previous house, it only costed me about 50000 which I was surprised about, because this is a big house, you know? But with the previous one, it didn't cost me that much. And the semi trailer here, I think I paid fifteen grand for this. So, not half bad. Inside the garage here, we have the gator and the, the farm wall. Yep, that's good. Inside the house, it's, you know, very, very nice house. You've seen this style before. Now, I have something about the semi-trailer that I need to go look at because one of the people that helped me with the house has a semi-truck that runs, but they're willing to sell it. So I want to see what the price is like on that truck. Let me hop in. You know, let's go take a look. Now, it's on the same road I am. It's just at the very end of it. There you go, we're good. So, yeah. If we go down to the very end of this road, we should be able to find it. Alright, it appears I forgot to record again. Uh, that's fine. We made it to the place where the semi-truck is. I'll go over it again, just uh, because I forgot to record. It's a Mack truck. That's very nice. Hop on in, it's got the wood dashboard. Everything is very well taken care of for what it is. Um... Now, it doesn't have the key in it, but that makes sense. And I'm going to negotiate a price inside the house and see what uh, kind of deal I can get on this. Open between twenty and 25000 yeah, That'd be a good price for me. Because, uh, you know, it's a bit older, too, so. So, yeah, let me go negotiate a price. Okay, we managed to negotiate a price of $22,500 uh, for this truck. But under the cash that I have to drive it back. Now, he gave me the key. So, let me get inside this thing and start it up. Alright, let's put it in gear. All right, that's good. Yeah, it handles amazingly. Cool. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna sort out the, the price, the payment, probably write him a check. And I'm going to sort on getting these home. So, let me handle that. Alright, so payment's been sorted and both the semi and my truck are back at home. Now, for something special, that you never really get to see that often, this International 1486, um, I'm going to dedicate to the only person to actually find these videos like entertaining and ca actually cares about them because they like watching them. Now, like, you know, that's a goodwill gesture, but I actually likes them. So this 1486 was dedicated to Todd Polk. Good old Todders. So, that, that's for you. And to expand upon that, I think I finally got this thing running. So, let's hop in and... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Okay, cool, me. Is this thing reverse? It does, but I have to manage the throttle here. Alright, let me try. All the way up. Alright, yeah, that's good. Alright. I think this drives forward perfectly. I knew my pieces from that shed right there would have fit perfectly onto this. It's amazing. Yeah. The problem is I have nowhere to put it. I could back it up with the Massey. And just use this for yard work. Which I probably will do it for yard work. So yeah, the Todd Polk dedicated tractor is up and running and is going to be used for yard work. These bales, I'm not sure what to do with them. I can't really move them too heavy. So I'll take out the skid steer and I'll get them all situated. But the problem is, I don't know what I'm going to do with them after that. My grass field is getting close to start growing again. It's going to start growing here soon enough. I might get back into the sheep business. Like actually settle down and try to do sheep. Because this land is mine, there's no possible way I can get kicked out. And I got enough, oh, tying in, church bells are in. But you see, I got all this material here and I have this shed right here, which I can take down in order to add a sheep barn. If you remember the one from the UK with uh, this same style garage, um, I'm gonna contact that company's US division and build up a new sheep barn. I'm gonna put the barn right here and the field is gonna extend out to here. So hopefully I should be able to supply the sheep with enough food, which I mean, yeah, I think that's possible. And I'm also gonna need to get water sorted, which can be pretty easy. I can buy a small water tanker from the dealership or find one used around here. Uh, sounds like they're about to start a game. I don't like recording when they play games. So, I guess I'll end it here. So yeah, thank all of you for watching. Especially 
you right there. Because, remember, the people that watch this series make it possible. If it wasn't for the people constantly tuning in, I would not continue making these. So, for all those watching and you know who you are, thank you. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.